Many standard vector operations are built into Mathematica. For example, the dot product and the cross product. Let's begin by defining vector v. Put your cursor in the box and hit shift enter. Now to compute the dot product, we type in capital D O T square brackets V comma W. Shift enter. I'd like to point out here that if you used a lowercase d, Mathematica would not understand you. Similarly, if you use parentheses instead of the square brackets, Mathematica would not understand you. In general, commands like the dot product or trig functions have to be capitalized and the arguments have to be placed in square brackets. Another way to get the dot product in Mathematica is with a period, v dot w. The cross product is similar. There is a built-in command, capital C, cross, square brackets, v, comma, w. This computes the cross product of v and w. Notice that the cross product is a vector. The dot product is a scalar, and that's very important to keep in mind. Some care should be exercised when dealing with vectors. Mathematica will perform operations on a list by performing the operation on each element in the list, which may or may not be what you intend. For example, squaring a vector, which makes no sense as a vector operation, is interpreted by squaring the list, in other words, squaring each element in the list. In particular, VV, without the period in between, does not give the dot product. Addition, subtraction, and scalar multiplication behave as one would expect them to. Put your cursor in the box and hit shift enter. This gives most of the algebraic operations we need to perform on vectors. One simple thing we'd like to be able to do that is not built in as a function is to compute the length of a vector. One way to do this is recall that the dot product v dot v of a vector with itself gives the square of its length. Hence, we can compute the length of our vector v as follows, the square root of v dot v. One disadvantage of this is that we have to do the same thing for each new vector whose length we'd like to compute. We can simplify things by defining our own magnitude function. The syntax for defining functions in Mathematica is the following. For example, to define our length or magnitude function for vectors above, here's what we could type in. Hit shift enter. Nothing seemed to happen and that's because we did not ask Mathematica to compute anything. We just stored a function for future use. So now we could ask Mathematica to find the magnitude of v or the magnitude of w and so forth. Notice that this is a lowercase m because that's how we define the function. If you try to put a capital M in here, Mathematica will not understand you because the magnitude that we wrote has a lowercase m. As a general guide, functions which are already built into Mathematica, like square root or trig functions, need the capital letter. Functions that you define can be used with a capital or a lower letter depending on how you define them. To get a unit vector, we simply divide a vector by its length. That's a little complicated. To get an approximate numerical value, we just wrap capital N around that. So we've already defined u unit vector to be v divided by the magnitude of v. We wrap the capital N around our unit vector and this gives us a decimal approximation. This last vector, our unit vector, should have length 1. And let's check that. 